I want to show you guys the dumbbell bench press. This is a move I start with a lot of my beginner to intermediate clients. Uh, it's an excellent exercise for your chest, your arms, your shoulders, and just to build unilateral strength, which is strength equally on both sides. Everyone has a dominant arm, and doing things unilaterally, which means a different weight in each hand, uh, helps balance that out, because you want to be as balanced as possible. You don't want to be lopsided. That's going to lead to problems, to injury, to incorrect motion, to incorrect form. Now, on the dumbbell bench press, there's a lot of people do them, and a lot of people do them mostly correctly, but they're missing a few key points, so I really want to drive those ones home. Basically, to set up this exercise, I'm going to show you without weights first. To set up this exercise, we always start with posture. On every exercise, we always start with posture. So I want you to lift your chest, roll your shoulders down and back, straighten and tighten your core. So you don't want any arch or any slouch in your lower back. Stay nice and tight and tall. When you have the weights, sit down, set them on your knees. This way, if they're heavy enough that you can't easily curl them to your shoulder, you can use your leg to help like this. That way you're saving some arm strength for the actual exercise and you're getting it to your shoulder without swinging it dangerously, especially with heavier weight. So sit down with good posture, lie back, bring the weights to your shoulders here, and immediately get the weights up so they're supported by a stiff arm and fix your posture. So my chest comes up, my shoulders are rolled back. Now where a lot of people go wrong from here is they're just thinking about the weights and their arms. So they don't fix their posture and they completely ignore their legs. You've probably seen in the gym, as soon as it gets hard, people will start kicking, thrashing, moving their feet around, and that is very counterproductive. It's much easier to press from a tight, solid foundation than it is when you're flailing and kicking and you have no good ground and no good um, stabilizing forces for your core and your shoulders. So what I like to do to help clients practice this is I take a fairly heavy um, dumbbell and put it in one of their hands. And this is a great trick for you to try before you do dumbbell presses. Same exact posture, same exact position as I just told you. Shoulders up and back, core flat and tight. Go back, put the hand you're not using on your hip, and try and bench press just with one side. Now if the weight's moderately heavy, which it should be, you'll immediately see what I'm talking about. To keep you from falling off the bench, the side the weight is on, you have to tighten your core, and you have to really engage the hip on that side. You'll feel your glute squeezing, you'll feel your heel pushing into the ground. That's how both your legs should feel whenever you do dumbbell presses. And this applies to the barbell bench press as well as incline presses with dumbbells and barbells. You want to engage your core and your hips. It's going to make you much stronger and make the move much more effective than if you're loose and floppy and just going all over the place. So try that one or two times as a warm up. Just get a moderately heavy weight, put it in one of your hands, and feel what your core and hips are doing. And then train yourself to do that when the weights are in both hands. It's an excellent, excellent exercise to really treat you to get that foundation. Now, another thing I see people doing on the dumbbell press is when they're going down, they bring the weight up by their shoulders and they try and shrug it up. That's putting all the pressure in your rotator cuffs and your traps here. You're trying to work your chest and keep your shoulders safe. So what you want to do is keep that posture, shoulders up or shoulders back, chest up, and you want the weights to come down and line up right where about your nipple line, right about the middle of your chest. So if they're coming right next to your shoulders or even worse, next to your neck, it's way too high and all the pressure is in your shoulders instead of your chest. Line them up right next to your chest, right along the nipple line, and the weight should be directly over your elbow here. So you don't want the elbow turning in, you don't want it rotated like this or anything. Now go ahead and watch me from the side. So we go over all that again. Weight's on my knees, I'm fixing my posture, tightening my core, shoulders are down and back. I want to raise the weight using my knees to help, lie back under control. Now, before I do anything else, I fix my posture and I engage my heels and my hips. I'm literally pushing down on the ground with my feet and I'm squeezing my butt a little bit. And that's going to make everything tight and stable, just like it was with the one arm to press. Okay? Keeping the weight directly over my elbows, I'm going to go down as low as I can without any shoulder discomfort, lining up with the middle of my chest, and I'm going to push up without losing my posture. You'll see a lot of people follow through with their shoulders. That's again taking all the work out of your chest and putting it into your rotator cuffs. So keep that chest up, only go as far as you can with your shoulder blades back and together and your shoulders down. Likewise, if you have any kind of shoulder issues and it hurts to go too low, don't go so low. A great thing about a dumbbell exercise is you can choose exactly where you want the weight to go. It's completely free in space. So if it hurts to go any lower, go here. 
If there's no pain, go as low as you possibly can with good form because that's going to work the muscle harder and give you a nice stretch. When you're done, you can either bring your legs together, drop them down and sit up, or if they're really heavy and you just feel like you can't bring them and sit up with them, you can bring them in and drop them down this way. Being careful not to drop them out. Going towards your legs is very safe. Going out is dangerous. So, if they're very heavy, you feel like you cannot get it, you just got your last rep, your strength is gone, go ahead and bring your elbows in, push them this way, set them down. Now, like I said, those rules apply to the incline press, the flat press on barbells and dumbbells, and everything in between. You always want to engage your body head to toe, and you always want to isolate the muscle you're trying to work, not just work whatever.